know that when it comes to third-party desktop clients, TweetDeck is my preferred approach to Twitter. What continues to amaze me is how much TweetDeck has changed between the printing of all of Twitter and the posting of this episode. I mean, wow. This is one of the many reasons I've created this podcast, and I'm going one step further and putting together a video tutorial for this episode. Take a look at your upper left toolbar and you'll notice a dramatic change. The massive row of options is now a collection of of three icons. That's it. Three. So where are all these cool bells, whistles, and stuff that I love and you love so much about TweetDeck? But why is the rum gone? Let's start with the gold icon you see. That is the update window option. Single click this to make your tweet composition field visible or hidden. Preferences for where you want this, top or bottom of the interface, can still be accessed by going to the wrench, that's the settings icon, located in the upper right corner and under the general tab. Returning to the main TweetDeck interface, single click on the plus sign, which accesses your add columns window. Here, the first option offered is search, where you can create a column based on Twitter search. You can search for terms or hashtags and then create a column that will continue to track your search in real time. Second option is Groups Lists, and it does exactly what it sounds like. TweetDeck allows you to create new lists as if you are on Twitter.com, manage your groups, manage your lists, or turn your group into a list. Let me say that again. TweetDeck is allowing you to take your groups and turn them with one click into lists. That's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. How do you do that? Go to one of your group's columns in TweetDeck and single click on that header. You have two options, edit group or export as a list. Single click the export as a list option and you have now taken your groups off TweetDeck and open them up to the entire Twitter network. Finally, there is the core option. Click on this and you find all the options that you know from both my books. 12 seconds, Twit Scoop, Tweet Deck Recommends, and so on. Nothing has changed in how they work either. You single click on the option and your new column is created. Now direct your attention to the top of the Add Column window and you will see the Using Account feature. This is where Twitter integrates with MySpace, Facebook, and their most recent partnership that takes Twitter headlong into a professional world, LinkedIn. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! To add a LinkedIn account, single click on the plus sign to the right of the account icons. Or close this window, go to your setting icon, and click on the accounts option in the sidebar. Single click add new account, single click add LinkedIn account, and then follow the login procedures. After single clicking save settings, you can then go to the add column option and click on the LinkedIn icon. Set up your column with the desired updates you want and then single click create your column to monitor your LinkedIn network. Setting up Facebook and TweetDeck is just as simple. Return to the Accounts option under Settings, single click Add New Accounts, and then single click the Add Your Facebook Account button. Follow those old so familiar login procedures you do in Facebook. Once you are logged into your Facebook account and click the Save Settings button, remember, you have to click Save Settings in order to make changes happen. You will have options to create columns specific to your Facebook account. 
I don't want to see this on your MySpace page. Integrating MySpace also follows identical procedures. Both Facebook and LinkedIn offer additional integration via hashtags. We will use LinkedIn as the example on how this works. Log into your LinkedIn, provided you are plugged into LinkedIn, and check Account and Settings. You should see under Profile Settings the new option, Twitter Settings. Click on the Add Account option and follow the login procedures and Twitter.com permissions to grant LinkedIn access. You can then choose to display your feed on your LinkedIn profile or share tweets in your LinkedIn status. For that second option, select Share Only Tweets That Contain Hashtag In. A tweet using the hashtag in in your approved account will automatically update your LinkedIn status. You can also update your LinkedIn status from TweetDeck's update window. Just above the composition field will be small boxes labeled with the account names you're managing. Along with Twitter handles, you should also see one labeled LinkedIn. Single click LinkedIn to highlight it. Now your tweets appear as LinkedIn status updates. The same applies for Facebook and MySpace, provided TweetDeck has approved access and if they are also highlighted. Essentially, you can update several networks all at once with one single tweet. It's a good idea when tweeting across multiple accounts to put the words cross post or X post, and put that in parentheses too, at the beginning of the tweet. It's just a nice touch so you don't seem overly redundant. And speaking of redundancy, retweeting has been given a complete overhaul on Twitter.com and also on third-party apps. For TweetDeck, the retweet now acts and even looks a little different. When you single-click the retweet icon, and you get that by rolling over a user's avatar, remember that, that hasn't changed, you automatically are asked if you want to retweet immediately, edit the retweet, and remember your choice as the default setting. Clicking on Retweet Now will send out the tweet as is. If you choose this option, your avatar is grouped with a person you're retweeting along with a yellow retweet icon. When you select Edit then Retweet, TweetDeck works the same way it always has. The tweet is labeled with an RT, the user you're retweeting, and then you can edit to fit the tweet with your own comment added on. The retweet appears in columns as a standard tweet, no nested avatar or icon. TweetDeck 032 doesn't stop here. There's a new look for access profiles, the ability to report spammers, geolocation features. Well, you're right about this being a bad idea. Thanks for saying, sir. New notification features and so much more. You can get a complete list of updates and fixes at support.tweetdeck.com or you can follow the link featured in the show notes.